Welcome back subscribers, come on in. We've got metal in here. Today we're gonna do some underrated bands. I'm also gonna give a shout out to some of the channels that I subscribe to that I think are really cool that you might like too. Mendicant Media out of Australia. He's got some really intense sort of good informational videos. Roger Kjorvik, I would assume of uh, Sweden or Scandinavian country somewhere. The Death Doom Metalhead, charming uh, videos. Thralls of Metal, good information. Uh, Motley Crue Forever One, a great fuck you attitude. Melanie Loves Death Metal and her collection, that's pretty cool stuff. Stormwind 79 of Australia, I like your stuff, dude. Banger TV, good informational stuff, entertaining. Life Eternal, uh, more of his collection, good stuff, analog archives. I like how he goes in depth about various older material. Ground Zero Salem, always quality videos. Justin Horville of Hell's Headbangers, California. Um, entertaining guy for sure. Mountain Top Nine, I love his videos too. His video on Bethlehem is one of the best on the internet. Haspa Metal, Renee of Spain. Mordant Red, R-H-E-D, Mordant Red is a new video creator. Definitely go check out his videos, Mordant Red. S&T Young, uh, Danny Wasted official hard and heavy channel is really nice. I like Scott Waters stuff, especially for his glam and hard rock. Explosive Action and his collection. Brain Smasher, I like his in-depth talk about various quality releases that I like too. Uh, Marty Worm and the Downfall Network. So on to it. We're gonna hit five to seven bands today, starting with No Return of France. So this is a diverse band from Paris, France. They made an awesome thrash metal album called Psychological Torment, and that's just a quality gem. And the early one is just like Harmony Corruption of Napalm Death, it's called T Contamination Rises. It's a death metal gem. Let me show you the disc itself. Really sweet CD. Next up, we're gonna go with some black metal from Poland called Profanum. I'm picking this band because I've got a few releases from them. They sound amazing. Nothing sounds like Profanum. They've got a bunch of keyboard and dark elements in there. Their Misanthropy Floris album. And I've also got the early one called Flowers of Our Black Misan Misanthropy. Definitely check out Profanum Aeternum from Poland. Next up, let's go with Falkenbach. Falkenbach from Germany. I've got Heralding the Fireblade and some of their mid material, Magni, Blandin, and their first release is more of a black metal, but this is awesome Viking folk metal from Germany. Definitely give them a shot. Totally underrated band called Cultus Sanguine from Italy. I really love their dark kind of gothic elements. Here's a newer release. Their masterpiece is Shadow's Blood. I love the keyboard and exciting buildup. And then an early release, gothic, dark, black metal from Italy. Next up, um, God Hate from Sweden. What they've got is a EP called Anguish that I think is really good. And then the earlier years when they used to be called Throneon is demonstrated on this CD, the Throneon years from God Hate. This one's excellent. Excellent gem right there. Totally underrated. The Throne Aeon Years Part 2. I've got their self-release, Anguish, and then their early albums from Throne Aeon, Nether of Gods, and then the album called God Hate from Throne Aeon. Number six, the band Sarcophagy from Lafayette, Indiana. I had this demo called Cut to Pieces since I was a teenager, 45 years old this year. It's my original demo and it's a killer death metal. Totally underrated. They finally got in the studio and recorded some of those songs on their album called The Summoning, and it's a total gem. I just love The Summoning from Sarcophagy. Their earlier demos are also available on CD, and I had noticed that it's actually possible to still get this. The Onset of Torture from Sarcophagy. And then some of the members of Sarcophagy were also part of the band Gorgasm and their album Orgy of Murder, half of the band from Gorgasm on this recording was in Sarcophagy. And Sarcophagy's other members' projects, Human Filet, Hideous Sculptures of the Dead, and also Catatonic Atrocity. And finally, number seven for you, a band from Stockholm, Sweden, called Diabolical Masquerade. I think this band is underrated too. Death's design is kind of like a movie soundtrack. 
It's got tons of great instrumental stuff in it. Exciting listen. Love the album called Diabolical Masquerade, The Phantom Lodge. This is originally in Digipack. It's one of the few, you know, 1990s Digipacks that came out. It's just an amazing album. I love the sliding guitar. And also Raven Dusk in My Heart. This surprised me when I first listened to it. It's really an excellent album. So here's Blackheim of Diabolical Masquerade. Thanks for watching. Check you guys next time.